Hey guys, it's Jordan. So I didn't exactly film an intro for you guys today, but I just wanted to get started with this swan hair makeup and costume look that I came up with, which is perfect for Halloween. And I think it's so elegant and pretty, and I hope you guys like it too. So let's just get started. So to begin, I just started by putting in these red contacts in my eyes. And I'm starting by using a light foundation and blending that out all over my face. Then using the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, I'm applying that under my eyes as I would a concealer. And then I'm also highlighting, so I'm doing it at the bridge of my nose, the top of my forehead, and my chin and cupid's bow. And I'm adding it to my collarbones, and then I'm just blending it out. Next, using a black pencil liner, I'm going to be marking out the shape of the wing that I want coming from my eyes. So basically draw two parallel lines coming out from the end of your eye and from kind of the middle of your eyebrow and just don't forget to add an eyeshadow primer to your lids and then go back in with a black liquid liner to define the lines and fill them in. So as you can see, I'm drawing the line from the top of my eyebrow down either side of my nose and then lining my top lash line and dragging that line down as well to connect with the line at the end of my nose. And from that point, I'm also drawing another line just below my bottom lash line, as you can see. It's kind of hard to explain all this, but you can see what I'm doing as I'm doing it. On the ends of the little wings, I'm creating four bumps to make it look a little more like wings, and then I'm filling the edges in with black a little bit. Now I'm going back over and thickening up all the lines. Any line that you made, you want it to be really thick and pretty dramatic, as you can see. Just watch what I'm doing and you can probably kind of get the picture of what I'm trying to say. I'm then drawing out lines between each of those bumps and I'm tracing down my eyebrow to make that part thicker as well. And then I'm adding a few more almost teardrop-like shapes on my eyelid and just kind of around that area. And this will give the wing a more swan-like look and kind of give the appearance of feathers. So I'm creating a few more of those on my eyelid and kind of around that whole area. Then using a red eyeshadow, I'm filling the rest of that area in, leaving out the teardrop shapes. Now going in with a silver liquid liner, I'm going to be filling in all of those little teardrop shapes and the bumps at the end of the wing with this liner. Now using a black eyeliner and a really fine brush, I'm just going to be setting everything that I already drew with the liquid eyeliner. And this will just make the eye appear darker and less sloppy. I'm also using this black eyeshadow to shade around the shapes and give them a little bit of dimension and shading. And you can kind of go over some of the red areas and give it a little bit more shape. And for even a little extra dimension, I'm taking a white eyeshadow and applying that kind of in the opposite areas that I shaded it, so it looks like lighting kind of. Now using a white liquid liner, I'm going in below my lower lash line and filling that entire area in with the white liquid liner. Then I'm just dusting a little red eyeshadow below that. And using a black pencil liner, I'm going to be lining my waterline with this. Next, I'm going to be applying some false lashes and then adding some mascara. Next, using a contour stick or bronzer, I am just contouring my face just below my cheekbones, the temples of my forehead, and around the frame of my face. Also, I'm contouring my collarbones a little bit. Next, I'm using a black pencil liner and lining my lips with that but focusing in the outer corners of my lips. Then taking a red lip butter and applying that to my lips as well. And I kind of did things out of order, which is why my hair is up for the next part, but you can just ignore that. And all I did after this was I just decided to draw a little feather kind of on my chest. So I just looked at pictures of feathers online, and I basically just copied one of those. I'm just kind of drawing a line on my chest, and then lots of smaller lines coming from that. And it takes a little while, but it's actually a lot easier than you would think it would be. And I also wanted it to look like a few little feather pieces came off, so I just drew a few little lines off of the end of it. And that is all I did for the makeup. So the makeup is completed and we can move on to the hair. First I started by tying my hair up into a very high ponytail. And then all I'm doing is I'm taking about one inch sections of my hair and twisting them. And then using a bobby pin and bobby pinning them back into my hair kind of near the hair tie. 
And that's all I'm doing. I'm just taking different sections and bobby pinning them into different places around the hair tie. And once you're done, it should form a really cool looking twisty kind of bun. And if you need any more touch-ups after that, you can always bobby pin a few more hairs into it. But I think it just looks so cool. I left a few little hairs in the front as you can see. And all I did with that was I just used a curling wand and curled them a little bit. And then added hairspray. And that's actually it. It's so easy and it came out super cute. And finally for my costume, I am just using this really pretty black dress that totally reminds me of the black swan and I think it's perfect for this. And I have some black silver earrings to kind of match along with this. And for shoes, you can really wear anything you want. If you're feeling Converse, you could wear Converse or you could wear high heels or you could wear boots. Honestly, anything you want to wear, lots of shoes would work with this. And that is the completed look. So I hope you guys liked this video and I hope you can get some inspiration from it. And if it did help you, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. And if you guys have any questions or comments, then make sure to comment them down below. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will talk to you guys all later. Bye!